Hello and welcome for today's video. And today it is me, Imperator Ricardo. You might know me or not. I'm not the most active person anymore, though I'm still there sometimes. And today you will see me playing against some AIs, in case you've wondered. Mm, as to why? Mm, Call of it is taking a little break. I think uh, I'm allowed to say that because that would be senseless to hide. Uh, so we're going to see a bit more of me. It is. Uh, it's not very certain that we can see any PvP matches though. Because uh, I tried to host a PvP game and, and I was kinda ignored. Wait a second. This is a little bit loud. Yes, this is good. The game speed should be very fast. Thank you. So, today I'm gonna just gonna fight three fa impossible AI AIs because my connection is not the best currently. So I hope that I can beat these fast so I can upload the video fast. So Call of It can upload the video. Now some of you might wonder why does Call of It exactly take a break? And the answer is I can't really answer you either. Though I won't really object to anything like that. Sometimes you just need a break because you have burned out or something like that. I think we all know that problem. And if not, then I don't know if you play a game a lot. But I'm sure that Call of Duty will give an explanation in due time. If mine is wrong. And if not, then I guess I was pretty much on the right course there. Maybe it's just work related issues with time or something like that. We can uh, we can make our little ideas about that. For now it's time to beat some AIs. And I should still be able to do that. I hope, of course. I don't know if these AIs have some kind of special magical attack up their sleeve. I hope not. In case the audio is too quiet for you, for me it was too loud. Just let me know in the comments. I will read through all of them, as I pretty much always do. And uh, I will try to adjust it next time. If it's okay, then you don't need to say anything, of course. Now where's the money? There's the money. Oh yes, of course, as you can see we are playing on, de on a desert map. I just thought the channel needs a little bit more um, variety in the map. You know, in the choices of the map. So there's that. One eye should be somewhere down here. So I'm gonna set my army down there. Buy some further upgrades so we can fight properly. And get the most important upgrade as well, of course. So we can get even more upgrades for the price of nothing. Pretty much. At least that's what it that's what, that's what it feels like. One could say. The gold has been claimed. Now I only need some more gold. Alright, so where are they? Hello, can you 
I think there's a sea here. But I'm not sure. I can't command my armies to really go anywhere. I'm not clicking there and it still wants me to send them there. Oh, it's a mountain. Honestly, I really didn't know that, that a mountain does this. Maybe it's just on a desert map because on the summer map, which is the normal Greenlands, I remember this isn't a thing. A Hungarian AI. And in case my internet connection is still bad in the, in the coming days, or in case nobody joins me in the next days again, I'm gonna add more AIs in case this is too easy. Oh. I don't like autosave. I'm sorry if that's uh, taking the action out now, but I really don't like that. Gives me the wrong impressions in the way that the game is going to crash because the game is a bit notorious for its bugs. Oh boy. When I get some more archers for the next AI, when I get some more upgrades as well. Kill the mines. Kill the crew of the mines. Ah, we won. We won against the the first AI, sorry, I have a, I'm having a bit of a hiccup right now. Um, they are looking for us. Fortunately, that's not going to help them a lot. We are housed, however, so that's not good. Let's change that immediately. The capture is off, because I really don't like playing with capture. Whoops, I accidentally must have not chosen the bikes. Here we go again. They go looking for the next one. I don't need the iron, I can just sell it for more food and the last upgrade. That's the good thing about this. I don't really have to rely on, a, on an iron production, I can just use it for the mill upgrade. And then afterwards for the... Uh, I can just sell all the iron to get some more food. Food upgrades, or just for, for the upgrades itself. For the bike upgrades. Makes the economy pretty good, but it's far from being overpowered to be honest. Well, it is overpowered with the food production, I must admit, of course. But um, it's still beatable quite easily in fact you just need to know what you're doing and you're well off oh enemy contact this is the Spanish they could potentially pose a bit of a problem could but don't have to Because the coastal pikemen are usually pretty good. But in this case I think I'm just way too overbuffed. Fair enough, I mean I, I'm, I'm having full, fully upgraded pikes at this point already. I can't really blame the AI for sucking a bit. After all, it's just an AI. It might have a way better reaction than any, than any human player will ever have, but... Uh, it's still made to be not overpowered. Oh, mercenary grenadiers. I remember those from the old days of uh, European wars. If somebody remembers that game.
Ah. Spanish are striking back quite hard. Doesn't mean that we can't really, that we cannot sabotage them though. Just burn down this, 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 this center and, uh, ooh. <laughs> they prepared for that, didn't they? Uh, Alright, let's burn down the sniffy. Archers, please. Pretty well, the red eye is also gone for. Also, if you have any topic that I could potentially discuss or, uh, or put my opinion to, uh, let me know in the comments as well. If I can talk about it, I will. Because otherwise, I'm just going mad from the music. <laughs> Sure, it's a good, it might be a good soundtrack, yeah, of course, but uh, it drives me mad after a while. Second mill required. Yeah, next time I'm gonna need to put some more AIs here, I think. I think I severely underestimated myself. Or at least put the AIs to strong nations like Russia, Spain or something like that. Yeah, how do I unselect this area? Oh, yeah. There we go. Hello there. Another interesting thing that I think I have observed over the while is that the AI doesn't seem to have the same trading pool as the human player. It sure does appear to trade, it has a market after all, but the prices feel like they don't really change or they don't change as much as your own prices. Which makes me think if the AI maybe has an own, an own trading, uh, trading pool. Well, it was a substantial resistance. I remember having more pikes and uh, four times the infantry. For the AI being kind of damaged. Oh yeah. You can see that I took quite a few losses here from the lines being is from the lines being so uh, banged up here. Of course, they are going to fill up a little bit with these guys. But I think we all can agree that this line should technically be way longer. 
and does and shouldn't have as, ma as many holes. But I guess I'll have to kill the mine. Ah, 20 minutes. A good time, I think. I should be able to upload that fairly quickly ish, maybe an hour or two. Um, but thank you for watching and as I said next time I will make it more interesting if it's not a PvP game I'm gonna have more AIs and probably stronger nations those are random AIs so yeah thank you for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time probably tomorrow adios